Hello, I hope that you guys are having an amazing day so far. My name is Robin. Thank you so much for tuning in and subscribing to this channel. I very much appreciate it. You can also go on to robinceiling.com if you're interested in your own personal reading or a healing with me online or in person. So I'm going to pull up a few cards just to see what the energy is going to bring for this Aries full moon, October 13th, 2019. So uh, first thing that I'm picking up is that we're still letting go of a lot of junk. And so I, it always kind of comes back to January with me when I discuss the energy of letting go. And it's about allowing things to just sink in. So maybe you created some goals for yourself in January. And ask yourself, how are those going? I'm also an Aries, so I find it very interesting to work with the full moon in my own sign, in my rising sign, my sun sign. So it's about really working on, you know, your goals, that sort of thing. Where are you in your life now? And it's okay to look back at maybe some things that you've done that weren't the best. Because that's what brought you here to this moment. And Aries are known to be the most optimistic sign. What can I say? And so it's so important that we're taking time to heal from the past, from those situations, while still reflecting back towards where we are now. So taking time to really focus on your projects, technology is coming up as well, making sure that you're healing from things that maybe you weren't good at, or maybe just acknowledging the things that you are good at, that sort of thing. So I'm going to pull up a few cards from my angel deck. We're just going to channel some energy based on what this moon represents for us. So the first card that popped up as our theme is Dragonfly, Transformation, Magic, and Illusion. So as you can tell, I'm wearing yellow. Yellow's been popping up a lot. And as I'm looking over at my light back there, my Himalayan salt, and I have my amethyst here, I would say if you're going to be working with a crystal, always go towards like a quartz when you're working on goal setting, things like that, manifesting. But then we also have that huge, huge, huge purple energy with the healing. So it's making sure that you're not just... Um, focusing on your goals, but that there's also taking time for you to heal and rest. Because amethyst is a very calming stone, so we want to move forward, but we also want to heal, okay? And that may take more time for certain people than others. So it makes sense that transformation is coming up because dr dragons always represent change. And so I'm already, I'm doing this early and I'm already feeling the energy of the moon. I've been chatting with a, a lot of other empaths, healers as well, and they're also feeling these changes. So no matter who you are, um, it's really about just following through with your own morals and your own goals. So you need to own your skin. You need to represent you from your heart space. Very important. So lots of talent and things like that are coming up, working more with those gifts. As long as you're feeling more calm and balanced, then you're more likely to take advantage of those situations, things, and places. Boundaries and caution makes sense where I was saying that protection energy may be a little bit difficult with my lighting here. I'm slowly working on getting these videos to be a little bit better. So this is kind of sharing about the, the, as I was saying with Aries being very optimistic, it's important that we're working not just within, but externally as well. So are you voicing your opinion? Are you sharing those emotions that you have? So huge, huge progress we are making when it comes to learning about how to, how to be and how to exist in human life. That's so perfect. Oh, I, I really like that. And then our last card here is winter. Reflection, transition, and release. Okay, so really summed up our theme. So aside from the past, you know, past healing that we're doing, I want to say past life for some people, we also have a lot of new beginnings that are stirring up a lot of need for attention. And you have to pay very close attention to the very small details right now. So if you can concentrate more on the fantasy, the imagination, and the creativity right now, you may be finding that 
problems are easier to solve because you're always already in that headspace. So if you're not used to using that part of your brain or, or living that way, it's really time to start really recognizing your own space, your own freedom that you have in your life. Because if you're not setting yourself free, then you're holding yourself back. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you guys have a fabulous full moon. Um, you can also check out under moon cycles my full moon ritual if you're interested in working more with full moon energy. So take care. Bye.